the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell will absolutely have to print money to deal with the fiscal situation in the United States right now. In this video, I'm going to give you the reasons why, but more importantly, I'm going to offer you a real world example that will make it crystal clear that that's what will happen. The Fed will print money. And the part that you need to be excited about is that as someone who's looked out into the future, you've done your homework, you're going to be in real good shape when all this comes to fruition. Let's get started right now. You're a big deal, and it's a big deal when you decide to give us your time and join the group here in the basement. Welcome, Basement Dweller. Hope you feel like you found a new home away from home, some good friends. Please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and super thanks. Any type of support is always super appreciated. But as you look out into the future and you look at your stack of silver and gold, I want you to be excited because you've taken steps to protect yourself. Look, there's no other option than that the Fed will have to print money in the future. They'll call it some fancy name. They'll come up with some new catchphrase to explain what they're doing. But when we distill it all down, it will be very obvious that what they're doing is increasing the money supply, printing money. You become accustomed to the Fed raising rates, lowering rates, We've become brainwashed to a certain degree that that really matters. But in the future, that's not really going to matter. It's going to make no difference, really, where the Fed has the interest rates because of one key point, and that is that inflation will be far outrunning, will be far greater than any level where the Fed can keep interest rates. The Fed will be neutered to fight inflation. And let me explain to you why. Watch my yellow finger as I circle the U.S. national debt. We are in a debt spiral. Guys, $35 trillion, $400 billion in U.S. debt and increasing at an ever faster pace. I'm going to make this real simple for us to understand investors are going to reject the U.S. national debt, reject buying treasuries. They're already starting right now. But as we move into the coming years, and as no one is addressing this national debt that is skyrocketing out of control, Jerome Powell has said it's a problem. Janet Yellen has said it's a problem. Ray Dalio has said it's a problem. Jeffrey Gunlock, all the smartest people are warning against it. Even that Jamie Dimon guy from J.P. Morgan Chase. But what's going to happen is investors throughout the world are going to start to reject buying U.S. treasuries, financing this debt, because they're going to look at the numbers and say, I don't want to be paid 4% interest uh, on my money. Why would I give my money to the U.S. government and only get paid back 2 or 3% when I know that they're in a situation which is only getting worse and worse and worse? So what's going to happen? Right, those interest rates on that debt will go up and up. As the demand for the bonds decreases, the value, the price of the bonds go down. And as a result, the interest rate goes up. It's the free market working. But, but that creates a huge, huge problem for the United States government that is constantly needing to refinance that debt. If interest rates go to, let's say, 8%, Right. right now, we're paying almost a trillion dollars a year in interest alone on $35 trillion in debt. What if that debt level grows to $50 trillion at an interest rate of 8%? You can quickly see that the U.S. government goes bankrupt. The U.S. government could be facing a situation where the interest expense alone on the national debt is greater than all the money that they're bringing in. So the only thing that the Fed will be able to do is print money. And what will they do with all that money they create out of thin air? They'll buy the debt themselves, artificially lowering the interest rate. And hey, that's fine. No problem. 
But what that also will do is create massive inflation because when you print money out of nothing, it devalues the dollar. So we could see inflation at rates like 25%, 30%. We could have a major by uh, inflation problem in this country. It's real, guys. And the math, the simple math, and remember, mathematics shows no forgiveness on the altar of truth, point to this being the inevitable situation. I promised you a simple example uh, that would make real clear what I'm talking about. Let's say that you and I are brothers, and there's a third brother as well. I'll make you the rich brother. You're the guy that has all the money in the family. You've amassed, let's say, $1 million in a bank account, okay? You have me. I'm I'm your brother, and I'm real responsible with my money, right? I always pay my bills. I don't really have a lot of debt, but I need to borrow $100,000 from you. And then there's that third brother who also needs to borrow $100,000 from you. The only problem is between his house debt that he's accrued, his car debt, his student loan debts, his credit card debt, his debt that, I don't know, Dave and Buster's whatever, the guy has almost $700,000 in debt. So remember, I have no debt and I want to borrow $100,000 from you. And the other brother has $700,000 in debt. That brother would be like the United States. Right. So you have to make a decision. Who are you going to loan the money to? Are you going to loan it to the brother with all the debt or are you going to loan it to me? I have no debt and a history of always paying my bills. Now, that other brother, I guess you could say, does have a history of always paying his bills, but he's doing it in a very creative way. (laughs) That would be the United States printing money out of thin air. Guys, it's inevitable that this will happen. Unless we have some economic miracle uh, or our politicians, and this is not going to happen, but if our politicians would suddenly come to their senses and say, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we spend less than we bring in and start paying off our debt? So no matter how you slice it or dice it, the smoke and mirrors game is about to come to an end. We're going to have big inflation in this country. And I believe you and I will be very grateful that we made the decision to buy precious metals, to hold silver and gold. Hey, if you want to get your hands on some silver, gold, or platinum group metals, please support our channel sponsor, Pinbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. They always have ultra competitive prices, a great selection, and it's a company you can trust. You need to find that out for yourself. Do your own due diligence, and please also check out First Mining Gold, Canadian gold developer, sponsor of Ron's Basement. They have two multi-million ounce development stage projects in Canada and Fortuna Mining. They're a producing silver and gold mining company. They have operations in Latin America and West Africa. Thanks to all our sponsors. Thanks to you for joining me here in the basement. It's going to be crazy in the coming months, quarters, and years. I have a strong feeling that we're going to stick together and we're also going to be real happy that we hold precious metals and precious metal mining stocks. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.